Hello everyone, I hope you have all caught some amazing queens this year of nuptial flights. Here in North America, nuptial flights are coming to a close, so hurry fast if you have not yet found a queen. This June and July, however, I came across a few chromatogaster queens that I think you guys will love seeing. Let's begin this update with my first successful Chromatogaster colony with 8 workers, Chromatogaster vermiculata. Like all Chromatogaster species, they are known for their heart-shaped gasters and ability to raise up their abdomens when threatened, given their common name of acrobat or valentine ant. For this reason and because of their larger size queens and sometimes brighter coloration, they are sought out for by many ant keepers. Now setting up their second honey feeding, I start off with pieces of paper mache, a toothpick to place drops of honey, and tweezers to place it into their test tube. A funny thing happened was when I put in the honey for this colony, the queen's wing caught some and one of the workers immediately ate from there. Fast forward a few more seconds, another worker came around and decided to eat from there also. Chromatogaster ants doing their thing. With proper lighting, the queens of this species appear very shiny, or glossy is the better word actually. While in the light however, their color stands out which is a dark brown coloration, but their counterpart on the other hand is full of color which is Chromatogaster CF Coractata. For those who may not know what CF stands for, it actually means compared to, as in in comparison to, since I am unsure of what the exact species for this queen is. If you're wondering why this queen has a ravaged set of wings, they were actually chewed off by the workers, and I asked about this for this reason on Instagram, and a couple people have said it could be to prevent any big movements within the test tube, or to be less of an annoyance. This makes sense since I experimented with a few of the queen's living areas, and the ones that were in a smaller test tube had trouble moving around and gripping onto the glass, while the ones that were in a larger test tube didn't have as much trouble. This same queen, as a matter of fact, was originally put into a test tube with substrate to see if the workers or herself would use this in any way. As you can see, they just cleared up the space. And now that is all that we have for this Chromatogaster colony update. So thank you for watching this far, join our discord if you want to talk about ants, do some collabs, or just share your channel slash medias, friend me on xbox or epic games if you want to play some fortnite, but be sure to tell me who you are first in the comments, and my name is enderants, another fellow ant youtuber, take care, and I'll see you in a future video. I can't remember myself. I'm a little rusty.